74 were among over 80 Ghanaians who successfully crossed the Sudan-Ethiopian border with the assistance of officials of the Ghana Embassy in Addis Ababa. Several countries uh, continue to evacuate their nationals following sustained fighting between the Sudanese army and the rapid support forces. And uh, to get an update on this, um, from the airport, Noble Crosby Ann and has been at the airport awaiting the arrival of these Ghanaians and uh, he's joined us for um, an update from the uh, airport. Noble, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. What do you good have for Martin. us? So at the moment, uh, these individuals who were caught in the middle of a conflict in what is beginning to degenerate into a full-blown civil war in Sudan, they, in a few moments from now, will be going to their various homes. Now they see some light at the end of the tunnel, but uh, it has come at, at a certain cost that they will have to put the education on hold, at least for now. For three weeks, they were victims of a, a, a war ongoing in Sudan. At the moment, they have landed at the Kotoka International Airport. What we're being told is they are going to uh, the immigration uh, procedure so that they will be able to go out and then meet with their families who have not seen or heard from them in a very, very long time. So some parents, uh, some relatives are anxious at the hmm. All right, uh, we seem to have lost that connection to uh, Noble Crosby and who was updating us from the airport about the arrival of some Ghanaians from Sudan. We'll be giving you those um, specific numbers in terms of those who have arrived when we do get those details. You're still